Recently, the Victoria Foundation released this year's Vital Signs Report. Tonight, Veronica Cooper looks at the results. The Victoria Foundation's Vital Signs is an in-depth report tallying survey results grading 12 key issues such as housing, transportation, arts and culture, and health. This is the 13th year the Victoria Foundation has offered the online survey and close to 1,800 residents from Souk to Sydney responded. And it gives you a good idea of what people in our community feel are the things we're doing well but the opportunities to do better. Close to 200 from various community groups, business, government, education and nonprofits attended the 2018 Vital Signs launch earlier this week. The survey offers valuable insights. A lot of us look to it every year to just get a good overview of attitudes and opinions and concerns of a wide array of people who live here. This actually really does a brilliant job of framing the social determinants of health, which is probably the most important thing in keeping people healthy. 85% of respondents describe themselves as happy, yet nearly one quarter feel high or overwhelming stress about their finances. And not surprisingly, the cost of housing and the standard of living are top concerns. The number one thing we hear from employers is the difficulty they get they have getting workers to move to the city because of the cost of housing. The island's chief medical health officer was surprised to see that addictions ranked as less of a concern than in previous surveys. Given that we've been under a state of emergency since April 2016, one wonders if we've become accepting of 30 deaths per 100,000 as the new norm when we used to get upset in Victoria when we had 16 in a year. Find the full Vital Signs 2018 report at the links tab on our website. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.